What's good everyone? You're watching a video of how to do a binary tree in order traversal search. So I already made a video on this, but I decided to remake one just for good time's sake. So just to acquaint ourselves with a binary tree, a binary tree is composed of a node and then pointers to two children. It can point to a usually what's called a left children and a right children. And a binary tree is classified as always having its left child be less than the element relative to what it has, and then the right child greater than the element to what it relatively has. So in this example, I'm using numbers, but in programming, as long as you have a relative order, you define a way to order things such as by age, or maybe by color or something or wavelength or something else you can use a binary tree you just you need order in a binary tree to be able to tell things to go left or right into the tree so in any binary tree you have your root node and then you have your children a binary tree can have zero a node of a binary tree can have zero one or two children but you're here for the in order traversal algorithm now as you can see a binary tree can be traversed or searched through in different ways and one of the most popular ways is the in-order traver traversal. And so the easiest way to remember the in-order traversal is LNR. And so L stands for left, N stands for node, and R stands for right. And so what, these, what this always helps me kind of remember is that what I want to do is every time I hit a node, I want to repeat this algorithm. I want to repeat left, node, right. And once I hit a node, that I know my search has hit that has hit that node and I can write it down. So for instance, let's start, let's try this algorithm quickly here. So as with all search algorithms, I start at 50 or my root. I start at my top node. So I'm at 50 here. And what I want to do is so my first the first thing in my algorithm is left. So I go left. And then so now that I'm at 25, I repeat my algorithm again. I go left. And so then I go left again to 15. And so now the reason because I have it in the order of L and R as before is because that's very important. The in order is specific to when you pick the node. So when I hit node, when I hit the N in my search algorithm, that's when I can start writing that I've hit that node. So in this case, it's when I can no longer go left. So, as you can see, when I hit 15 here, there's no left node. There's no um, node less than 15 here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going is 15 is now going to be documented in my search. I've hit 15, which is pretty cool. So right now I've hit 15, and as you can see here, this is called an in order search. So node is always the there are two other searching algorithms, pre-order and post-order. And in those ones, the node is the first for pre and for post, it's the last in the LNR algorithm. And if you notice, L will always go to the left of R. So that's a pretty easy way to remember it. So the pre, post, and in order, um, all I'm saying, they reference where the node is that you're searching for when you hit and when you hit N, that's when you write down this where the search is hit. So now that I've hit 15, going back to my search here, what I want to do here is I want to run my search algorithm again. So now I've hit 15, I get L, then I get N, I can't go left, and I've already hit this node. I don't want to write down a note twice because search algorithms don't work like that. Once I've got it, I've got it. So now I can go right. So I want to try going right, and I can go right, so I go to 20. And once I go to 20, I again hit my algorithm again. So once I go there, I go. I try to go left from 20. I can't go left, so then I hit the node. So now I hit 20. So now we get an interesting case in the in-order search. So I again, I'm at node 20 right here. And now what happens is I try to go left. I can't go left. I try to go to the node. I've already got the node 20. And I try to go right, but I can't go right. So what happens is when I go, when I've exhausted all three options at that node, I go back up. So when I go back up, you know, and so when I go back up, you know, I simply, you know, go back up. So when I go to back up 
Again, at 15, I try all three options again. Can I go left? No, I can't. Can I do the node? No, I've already done that node. Can I go right? No, I've already exhausted that node. I don't want to go back down there. Okay, so now once I've exhausted 15, I go back up to 25. Can I go left in to 15? No, I, I can't go left. I've already been down to 15. Can I get the node of 25? Yes, I, did. I do not have the node of 25 yet. So I get 25 as my node. And now that's pretty cool. So now I try 25 again. Can I go left? No. Can I go to the node? No, I already got 25. So now, as you can see, I can go right. So now I go right. And now I hit 35. And hopefully you can see I just go left from 35. And I get 30. And now I'm going to kind of speed it up first. 30. I can't go left. I've already got the node. So I back up. I back, And I can't go right. So I back up. I hit 35. And I get 35 because I already went left, but I haven't hit the node yet. Then again, I um, try left, go to node, can't do either, but I can go to the right, so I get 40, 40 backs up, it's exhausted, then I go to 35, 35 is exhausted, then I go to 25, 25 is now exhausted, and now I hit 50. And for 50, I've hit the, I've hit all the left side, so I can't go there, so now 50 is in my search, and now I can finally try going right. So I go right on 75, and basically I already went to the next slide accidentally. And so now 70, so then I try going, so then I go right, I hit 75, 75 can go left, so I go left, and 60, can't. I can't go left, so I get the node, I get the node 60, and then I try again, so I try to go left, can't, can't get the node, so I go to 65, and then from 65 I pop up because I'm exhausted, and at 60 I pop up because I'm exhausted, the search algorithm is exhausted, and so I hit 75, I take the node from 75 because I've already exhausted all the left options. And now I have to just finish up this. So I go right at 90 and I go left at 80 because 80 because I can. Because once I go to 90, again, I try the search algorithm again, I can go left. So once I get to 80, all my options are exhausted. Or I go, I can't go left. So then I hit the node. So I get 80. And then for 80, all my options are done. I can't go left. I can't go node. I can't go right. And so then I get 90, and 90 is obviously the last node we need to search. So that's the in-order search algorithm. If you've noticed, the easiest way to do in-order search algorithm, if you're on a test, is to simply write the binary nodes in order. For instance, an in-order search will always produce the correct, um, the correct ordering of the binary nodes, meaning if you just took all the numbers and sorted them and put them in order, that would be how you sort worked out. It would always be imperfect. As you notice, these numbers go from least to greatest. So that's how an in-order search always works because it's in order. That's why it's called an in-order search. I hope you guys like this. Please comment if you want to see me do any other videos, and I hope you guys have a great day.